Hello there, this is Dave Allen for The Amazing iPad and today I want to have a look at some tips for selecting text. And you can do a tap on a word and then do a select and that starts selecting it and then you can move the little blue dots and select your stuff that way. That's quite an easy way of selecting text. If you want to do a delete of a whole of that selected text, just press on the delete key and away it goes. That's pretty easy, isn't it? But what you can do also is that you can do a double tap and on the second tap of that double tap, you actually hold down. So I'm going to do that now. And I'll hold it down and just move it along and select as you go. Kind of works as before, but it's a bit smoother action, that's all really. So that's another way of selecting text. In some applications, you can do a triple tap, and it's not this one. Okay, so let's go to another application. So we're in Pages, for instance, here. Okay, so that was a triple tap, and that selected the whole paragraph for me. So that's, again, quite useful. This one here, you have to move across this tool here to be able to get to where you can do a cut, a copy, or whatever else you want to do. So let's do a copy on that there. Now it's in my clipboard ready to paste somewhere else. Or you can use another application called Texttastic. Now Texttastic is a little different in that it gives you a floating tool thing for doing selecting and so on. So if I tap on that there to select the word, then I've got this top of this middle part of the tool uh, selected. So now if I click on that button there, it'll go to the left and select more letters or more words. I can click and hold down, it'll just keep going through like that. Or I can go to this bottom part of that tool there, and that will go take me this way. So I can select go in this direction. So that's quite handy, isn't it? That's a couple of different ways of selecting text. This little tool that's in here is actually quite handy because you can move it around like this here. Or you can tap on that plus sign to get rid of it if you don't want it there. Two finger tap on there to bring it back again. And so the other thing that you can do with this selecting of text is that when you've got this one selected you can use the down arrow to select a line at a time. Or you can use that one there and you can go up and select that a line at a time. So you do have a little bit more than just doing the double tap on a word to select a whole word or you've got the select or select all and that selects the whole document and that's text-tastic pretty good application or what? so that's a couple of little tricks for selecting text on your iPad how about that then? this is Dave Allen for Amazing iPad talk to you again soon with some more tips for the iPad and don't forget to subscribe to the Wizard Gold channel on YouTube to get more of these. Every time I put a new video out, you're going to be the first to know about it. And by the way, did you click the like button yet? I think you should do.